Good morning. Good morning. Good day. I'm Divinely Destin. Welcome back to another reading. This is just a general collective update. Now, whatever comes out, comes out. Take the message how it resonates for you in your particular situation. Never ever try to make it fit. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not, okay? If it's not, it's not. If it's not your story, that's okay. Happy Libra season. If you are new to the channel, please like this video, guys. You know, give it a thumbs up. That actually helps me to be more seen throughout YouTube. It actually helps other people see the videos as well because it helps me move up, you know, and with, with, within the world of YouTube so other people get a chance to watch the videos. If you want to email reading with me, email me. I am available. I'm here to let you know today to be encouraged. Be encouraged. There are a lot of secrets that are going to be coming to the lights. Okay, you may be 21 years old. Yeah. And also, don't be so quick to judge because you only, you know, especially when you, you don't know people, be very careful with that judgmental, condescending attitude that some people have in the collective. And, you know, people that have these judgmental, condescending attitudes towards you in the collective, they need to be careful because they're already under judgment. Okay? Yes. Yes. I have a channel. I have a membership on my channel. If you guys want to join that membership. Go ahead. It's absolutely imperative that you guys know about your birth charts as well. I'm being told to say at the last minute here. Yes, yeah, so if you got some time today, go dig into your birth chart. Yes, go dig into it. It's vital. You're not just a Libra. You're not just a Scorpio. You're not just a Virgo, okay? You're more. What about your moon sign? A lot of you guys are operating in your moon sign energy, okay? We have the moon on my shirt. You may be a Cancerian moon sign, but your sun sign may be in Leo, okay? You may be a Leo operating in your moon energy, okay, guys? Yeah, you may be operating more, you know, you may be more emotional. You may be an aqua. You know, Aquariuses don't genuinely get the reputation, much like Virgo. Virgos is being emotional, but if you have a moon in Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you're going to be very, very emotional, okay? We got angel number 14 starting your message. You are very open-minded, collective, and always up to try something new. Yet you are smart enough and wise enough to stop and think just before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps to ensure, you know, your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. Okay, mean, mean. Ugh. Mercury retrograde is kicking my communication in the butt. Okay, I see a lot of readers that are struggling with that as well at this time. Go research Mercury retrograde. I believe it's in the sign of Libra. Okay, we have a lot of planets that are currently retrograde at this time. There are a lot of sneaky, shady-ass people that may be reaching out to you at this time, trying to come back in, trying to find a way in. Your name may be um, Savannah. Yeah, you may be a government official. You may work for your local, city, county, government. Yeah, and I'm also definitely seeing someone that works in a banking institution. Yeah, and I'm here in the city of Maryland. Okay, the state of Maryland. There's something about Maryland here. Okay, J. Edgar Hoover. Okay, when I when I channel, there's so many messages that come in. Uh, yes, you may have vision problems as well, collective. But with angel number 14, just stay open-minded. Because, you know, the universe is already recognizing that you are. Okay, don't lose that fire that burns within. You know, you're always up to try new things, but yet you're damn wise enough. You wise enough to stop and make a very practical approach before you just dive right into things, okay? Yeah, some of you guys are Virgos. You're very practical. You're very pragmatic, I'm hearing. Yes, we got angel number 1111. I love Alanis Morissette. Her energy is coming in the reading. I believe Alanis Morissette is a Gemini, okay? You may like her. She's an amazing artist. But angel number 1111, a lot of you guys that are currently watching this video are twin flames point blank period this is also the angel number of you know uh, ancestors yes i'm hearing soulmates in the higher realms so you some of you guys have lost soulmates they have crossed over they are with you when you see angel number one 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 most certainly your mother that passed on your father your ancestors they are literally connecting with you right now as you watch this reading the universe is letting you know they are arranging people and experiences on your path to help you get to where you need to be. The universe is actually opening doors for you at this time. I spoke about it in the last message. This is a great time to go after your goals because they're being manifested. The universe says, ask us, man. Ask us, collective. What do you want? Go look for it. Go seek it. Go knock. It's going to be open for you. 
We got angel number 777. Okay, I'm definitely hearing the artist Genuine. Okay, he's a Libra. But I'm hearing also, um, isn't it ironic, Alanis Morissette. And I'm also hearing that song, Can You Imagine? There's a lot of songs coming in. We got angel number 777. That's a very spiritual number. You know, my favorite reader, her name is A-E-L. She speaks about the sevens. Okay, she says two sevens is a warning. Three sevens could indicate a tower, so you need to be careful here with seven, seven, seven. Your purpose flows, collective, from within you. And everything that is unfolding at this current time or being revealed to you is part of, is part of your purpose. It's part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness is in your soul. Man, some of you guys are living in your north node. Okay, you're living in your north node. When you're, when you're living in your calling, when you're doing what God called you to do, when you're living in your purpose, things are going to flow. The universe is already letting you know. They're already opening doors. They're arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed. And they're, they're actually helping you, um, you know, arranging people to help you awaken to who you really are. A lot of you guys are stumbling, stumbling across this reading for the first time. You may be drawn to me naturally. Okay, that is an indication that you're being, this message is actually what you're supposed to be seeing at this time. A lot of you guys are uh, going to confession, you're Catholic. A lot of you guys are talking to your pastors at this time. You, you know, I'm hearing prophetess. Wow, a lot of you guys are some powerful prophetess. Okay, prophets. Man, you got the gift of prophecy. You can see well into the future. You can see well into things. That's a gift. Okay, your purpose flows from, from within you. And everything that is actually unfolding or rebu being revealed, okay, I'm here to rebuke that evil shit, okay? Everything that is being revealed or, or unfolding at this time is actually a part of your journey and your purpose. So no matter where you're at right now today, collective, please understand that that's exactly where you're supposed to be, okay? Don't, don't doubt it. Don't let nobody knock you off that because God got you there, okay? Remember that. Remember that. Milk and honey. Man, this is the opportunity, Look at this. You got milk and honey. Your dreams, your goals, your desires are being manifested and you will receive them. You will you will attain you will obtain them. Okay? Mercury retrograde is heavily affecting my speech, guys. Okay? Bear with me. Wow, can I get more messages for the collective? Yep. <laughs> you don't tell your problem, okay? Don't tell God how big your problems is. Tell your problems how big God is, man. Cuz God is showing your enemies. He's preparing a table right now for you. In front of all your damn enemies. Them same people that laughed at you. Them same people that talk smack about you. Them same people that didn't want to hire you. Them same people that turned their back on you. Them same people that stepped on you to get to where they're going. Them are the same people you're going to see as you rise. As you're rising. Okay. They're going to be calling you. Okay. Are you hiring? You know. Do you, can, I borrow, can I borrow a few dollars? Tracy. Okay, these same people that gave you the ass the kids are going to be needing you because your dreams are being fulfilled at this current time. It's happening. Okay, some of you guys have been praying. I know I have for a home. Okay, you're, you're, you've been praying. You've been manifesting this thing for a while. It's coming in. Okay, I appreciate where you at because there's, there's, um, <laughs> I'm definitely hearing relocation. A lot of you guys will be in a new home. I'm here in the next two years, next six months, the next year. It's happening. It will happen. Some of you guys sooner than that. Some of you guys have recently relocated. Some of you guys are moving up in upper management, okay, into your companies. Wow, there's 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 definitely the energies of soulmates that have crossed over, even twin flames that have crossed over, okay, or you in a twin flame that are not currently incarnated at the same time on the earth. This soulmate is watching over this twin flames or soulmate is watching you, specifically this twin. He or she or the spirit of this person, the essence of them are watching over you from the ethers as we speak. This person is actually helping you get to where you need to be. Man, it's been hard. It's been hard. It's been really hard. But your twin flame, your soulmate, your ancestors, your angelic team have been with you. They have been backing you every step of the way. Wow. There's, there's something significant about the number 51, 77, 11, 14, okay? I'm definitely seeing the number 3. I'm seeing the number 12. I'm seeing the number 1. I'm seeing the number 81. I'm seeing the number 8, okay? 17. These may be significant numbers for you. Yes, <laughs> you're being called to just picture that. Picture that dream home you've always wanted. Picture that dream car you've always wanted. 
Okay, because you actually have manifested it. You are manifesting it as we speak. Continue to work hard. I'm here. <clears throat> excuse me. Continue to apply pressure. Okay, keep knocking on them doors, baby. Keep stepping on them. Stepping on the necks of the people that think that that you can't make it. Keep keep going higher because you're you're at this level now where all these opportunities are presented before you. I'm definitely seeing like the red carpet being rolled out here. Okay, this is like the universe saying, okay, you're you, this is you. You're the, you're the star here. Okay, you deserve these high honors. You deserve these praise, this praise. You deserve this recognition. Okay, you deserve it. You deserve it. Show gratitude. Okay, when you get to where you need to be, don't give don't give the universe your ass to kiss. Don't think you did this on your own. Collective, give God His grace, mercy, thankfulness. Give your angels thankfulness, your ancestors, especially your soulmates that have crossed over. Your twin flame that is not incarnated with you at this time. Give them thanks because they have been with you. Always show gratitude. Okay. You're nothing without God. We're nothing without him. Always show gratitude. This is the second time magic has came out. Yes. Man, I feel like I feel like this is just, I feel like this is just, this is amazing. This is just like your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides. Now is the time. It's your time. It's your time. Okay, some of you guys already know. Some of you guys know it's your time. And you are being grateful. You're being humble. You're being gracious. You, you're, you're really smiling and laughing on the inside because you don't want to really show how ecstatic you are because you already know you're going to the next level. You already know you're in the energies of the next level here. You already know. You already know. Look at this. What's the next level? Abundance? Hmm? Hmm. What I keep hearing that, like, I believe when it was on a movie coming to America with Eddie Murphy, he was like, what do you like? What do you want? What do you want? Okay. Just ask your angels because you're getting it. Your wishes, your goals, your desires are being manifested currently. I'm hearing something about the number 12 and the number 51. So anywhere between 12 and 51 days, there's going to be a drastic change or a turnaround in your life. Okay. Some of you guys may get that car. Some of you guys may move. Okay, some of you guys may finally be able to have enough money to get that wardrobe upgrade that you've always wanted. Some of you guys are going to be remodeling your homes, painting your vehicles, getting maintenance work done around your property, around your house, going to, go, going to the doctor, okay, being able to afford those expensive cosmetic procedures that you've always wanted but you couldn't afford, okay. Excuse me. Some of you guys will certainly be paying for extra lawn care services around your property. Yes. Yeah, some of you guys are getting ready to take trips. I'm definitely hearing take trips. Wow. Yes, the universe is really smiling on you. Yes, let go. Just let go. Let them take control. Let them take control. Let the universe, let God, let your angels drive that boat. Okay, and I'm also hearing don't don't once again, there's something about somebody that may think they got it on their own. You didn't get it on your own. Okay, let go of that ego. Let go of that, that, that thinking that you did this. You didn't do this. God blessed you with this here. That's a reminder for all of us. Okay, sometimes we get these blessings and we forget God. He blessed you. And then, and then you turn your back or you just think you did it on your own. You didn't do anything on your own. Okay. He did it. He's blessing you. Okay, solitude. Solitude. Some of you guys have... You know, Virgo in your chart. Some of you guys are Virgos. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are going to be able to get away and take some time off for yourself or to yourself. And some of you guys really need to take some time off or take some time to be by yourself. So you could think. You got a lot of people in your energy. You got a lot of people pulling on your energy. You need some time. And your angels, your ancestors are saying they need some time for you to be alone so you can receive the messages that they have to give you. Some of you guys need to get quiet so you can hear the messages that your ancestors and your angels and your spiritual team are trying to get to you. Okay? Especially us busy parents. It's, all, it's always busy. You never have time to really close your eyes and just listen. If we can just take a few seconds, a few minutes to just do that collective, you know, this is what the angels are certainly calling us to do this day. Be content. Some of you guys are very content. Look how peaceful you are. Okay, you may be fighting an internal battle, but on the outside, man, you're so beautiful, you're so powerful, you're so strong, you're not showing any forms of weaknesses. Your beauty is actually getting more, if, any, if, if this makes any sense, you're getting more prettier, 
Okay, you're becoming more beautiful because that it, it just it just for me it just means you're becoming more peaceful and you're becoming more accepting of yourself. Okay? No matter what they say, no matter what they do, they can't knock that. And this is only making you more prettier, more stronger. Your skin may be changing, your body may be changing, you may be going through a lot of physical changes. I'm hearing your 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 DNA is upgrading, galactic DNA. There's some psychological changes, emotional changes, spiritual changes that are going on. My favorite reader once again is AEL. I learned a lot from her channel. Okay. Yes, there's there's a physical upgrade on your physical body, your physical appearance, man. Also, it's, it's especially the way you take care of yourself, your face. Wash your face, okay? Make sure you cleanse your face really, really well. And I definitely pick up on pick up on the energy that you guys are. It's showing, man. There's a beautiful... I'm hearing you're a beautifier. You're naturally beautiful. But there's a beauty upgrade that is happening for you because you're finding more peace within yourself. Re-energize. Yeah, some of you guys had to get away. I'm hearing I had to take a step back. But that's okay. I'm coming back. Some of you guys had to get off by yourself. Okay, some of you guys had to get off by yourself. Re-energize, regroup, revitalize your energies because they've been depleted. Because you got so many things and so many people pulling on your energy. Okay, some of you guys need to get by yourself. I'm telling you, your angels are saying, man, look, collective. Some of you guys need to get by yourself so you can hear the messages that they got. Okay, your angels are saying, don't forget how blessed you are. Don't forget how blessed you are. Okay. And, you know, every blessing deserves to be a blessing to someone else. Don't forget that as well. You guys have went the distance. You guys have the capabilities to go the distance in life. Okay? You guys are endurance runners. Okay? You go for the long haul. You guys are, okay, don't overthink it. There's a lot of people in the collective that may be overthinking some things today. Don't overthink it, baby. Don't overthink it. You're too blessed to be stressed. You're being watched. You are being watched. You know why? A lot of people doubted you. A lot of people cursed you. A lot of people spit on your name. I'm hearing spit on your grave. A lot of people wanted to put you in the grave. And to see you emerge stronger, more prettier, more abundant. Wow, they're like, who in the heck? Who is her God? Where, who is his God? How did this happen? I thought he was dead. I thought she was dead. I left them for dead. Last time I checked, they looked as sick. They looked as broke. They was walking. They didn't have anything, you know. But now they're living in the, in the land of milk and honey. She's abundant. He's abundant. They got a new house. They got a new car. Wow, I never, I would have never guessed that person would have made it out that situation. You know why? Because they judged the wrong person. They, they judged the divine being. Don't ever count a divine person out. You don't, and the sad thing is, you know, the ironic thing is, you don't even know who, these divine people are because God has divine people strategically placed in the universe. You don't know. That's why you don't judge people. Okay. You don't know. Okay. The same people that you step on going up that ladder are the same people you're going to see coming down. Okay. You're the, you know, they, they, they got to see you because you're on the uprise. You're on the uprise that I'm hearing that Mercedes you always wanted will be yours soon. And I'm definitely picking up on the energy of somebody getting a Toyota because I see somebody at a Toyota dealership here. Yeah. And this is the universe, man. This is this is your ancestor team. They like, oh, we always kept an eye on my on our girl. I'm hearing my girl. OK, there's a particular ancestor or a soulmate that calls you his girl. OK, this person, the universe, your angels, your angelic team, your spirit guides, your ancestors, they always had your back. They always watched you. You may have felt alone. You may feel alone. I don't have anyone. No one loves me. I know I feel that way. Sometimes as a single person, okay, a single parent, it's really hard. You get lonely, okay? But you are not alone, honey. You're not alone. Your angels, your angels, your ancestors are saying, why are you thinking so hard? Why are you stressing yourself out? Why? Do you not see how beautiful you are? Do you not see what I see when you look in a mirror? This is what your angels, your ancestors, your twin flame, his higher self, her higher self, your soulmate, okay, your angelic team. This is what they're saying. Do she not see how beautiful she are? She is. Does he not realize how abundant he is? Do he not know the power that lies within him? Man, you're being watched and observed, not only in the physical realm from strangers, competitors, enviers, people that envy you, people that are jealous of you, people that want to be with you, people who could never be with you, people who wanted to be you. People who are jealous of other people that want to be with you. 
Everybody's watching you, okay? You over here thinking you're not good enough. <laughs> you over there thinking you're not good enough. You're not bad, you're not pretty enough, you're not skinny enough, you're not rich enough, or you don't have that. And your angels are like, what is wrong? Do she not see what we see? Do he not see what he see? Do you not see that you have went the distance? Collective, you have been through some stuff that other people have died from. You have been in situations that other people have folded and ratted and snitched on. They're friends, okay? They couldn't handle the pressure. You have walked through some situations that other people would have went to the mental asylum over. Do you not see how tough you are? Do you not? Why are you thinking so hard? There is a person in this collective because I pick up your energy. Your angels don't want you to stress. You're overthinking. You're overthinking. You're stressing yourself out. And it's actually going to cause you a lot of headaches, tension in your shoulders, your the back. The back because I feel the tension in my back. Okay, the, the upper part of my back right between my shoulder blades. I'm picking up on that tension. And there's also tension in your shoulders. Okay, you can't, your, your head feel heavy too. Your head feel heavy. You may be uh, having a lot of dizziness. You, dizziness? You may be lightheaded. Okay, you may need to drink more water. Man, the pressure on you is great. It's a lot of tension in the middle of your back because I feel it. It's like burning. You may need a back massage, okay? Yeah, you're thinking about something too hard here. And your angels, your angelic team is watching you like, why is he stressing like this? Why is she stressing like this? Some of you guys have been self-isolating, okay? Intentionally avoiding people, avoiding going out, avoiding social interactions. You have social anxiety. You have been called names. You have been judged. There's a lot of people, okay? You may have, I'm, I'm definitely picking up on some deaf people in the collective, okay? You have disabilities, deformities. Some of you guys have disabilities of the mind, Okay, I'm definitely hearing cere cerebral palsy, but I'm hearing cerebral hemorrhage, so be careful with that overthinking. Some of you guys may have lost someone to a aneurysm, okay? Too much pressure on the brain. There's something significant about someone that has a very, very bad habit of really eternalizing and bottling up all their feelings and overthinking it to the extreme level of, to the point where they, they can't get out of bed. So you may be suffering with a form of depression, okay? Extreme level of depression here. Yeah, you may be suffering with night sweats, night terrors. You've been through the worst. You know, I spoke about this. What you have been through, other people have died from. They've killed themselves. They they are currently institutionalized. They have to be in, 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 in care homes because they can't survive what you have survived. Remember how blessed you are. Look at look at your angels now. They're watching. Not only are your angels watching, your ancestors, your twin flame, his higher self, her higher self. Some of you guys' twin flame is currently watching you as we speak. Some of you guys have soulmates that have died. They are watching you. You also have soulmate energy in your energy. And you're also being told that you have the capabilities to go to distance in a soulmate connection or a twin flame relationship. Some of you guys may be 23 years old. Some of you guys, the number 18 has been significant here. You've been struggling for depression, anxiety. Okay, I'm definitely hearing somebody come in my energy. This person is pissed. Okay, they don't want me to get the message. They're being, they're spewing their hatred right now. Okay, you're very blessed. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Don't let this overthinking have, make you, you know, have an aneurysm or make you fail to see that the, you know, the land, the, the land of milk, the land of milk and honey is here. The door is open. Okay, I'm here. I'm hearing you pass some significant tests. You passed some significant obstacles that other people could not survive. And I'm also hearing near-death experiences. Okay? Some of you guys have been through some near-death experiences. Some of you guys, um, definitely I'm hearing lucid dreams. Some of you guys have the ability to see yourself in dreams and watch yourself in dreams. Okay? Some of you guys are prophets, prophetess. Some of you guys are getting revelations, okay? I always see things through the dream state. I always tell people I've had the gift of dreams for a long time. I don't never worry about whether or not someone I love is dead because it's going to come to me. I'm going to see it, okay? God always revealed things to me in, in my dreams. I don't worry about certain things. Even if I don't see somebody that I know, you know, in a dream before they pass, I always will get some sort of inkling. Something is going to happen, okay? These are some gifts that I have, okay? And you do too. You're destined here. 
Okay, we got it's faded, it's destined. But if you all, some of you guys have missed a lot of opportunities due to your overthinking and your overly cautious nature. You didn't take that risk. You got to be like that cheater. That cheater, you know, the cheater knows how to go the distance. It's the fastest land mammal, I believe. Okay. Some of you guys got to take the opportunity when it arises. And a lot of you guys have missed opportunities because you talked yourself out of it for fear of rejection. Okay. Some of you guys are seriously suffering with some social anxiety issues for real because I'm picking up on someone that doesn't like to leave their home or you have an anxiety about putting your foot out the front door or you just won't leave off the porch. Okay. There's someone here that suffers with that. Wow. I'm definitely hearing someone, 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 okay. So there's people in the collective that have been criticized and criticized and criticized and criticized and criticized to the point where you believe all the criticisms that people have made you think. Okay. Their, their projections of you have actually manifested into you. Okay. You became what they, what they accused you of being. Okay. That is a, that's a possibility here. Okay. Look at this star on her head, man. Look at all these stars around you. These are angels. You don't see the lights, okay, because you're in your head too much. But there's a powerful light around you. I certainly am being called to take some messages from the angels. Yes, Archangel Michael, can I get some messages? Woo! This is a beautiful, peaceful, I mean, it's a real reading, okay? I really, really love it. I really, really enjoy it. Sometimes we can't even see how blessed we are. But your angels see, you know, when you were born, you were assigned, you know, I say at least two or three angels. Go research it. They're going to be with you. They're going to be with us until the day we die. Okay. The angels escort us to heaven. Okay. When we leave the body, you're not alone. You may be worried about someone who died or you feel like they, they wasn't found for a week. Okay. They were by themselves. You know, you worry, you feel sad you, and, and that's a normal thing to feel, but they was not alone. Their angelic team was there, okay? The angels, they escort us out of the body into the heavens, okay? I believe when Kobe Bryant passed, okay? That was back in January. You know, I have the same birthday, August the 23rd, as Kobe Bryant. I literally saw, like, the angels. Like, I just saw this white light, like, speeding up into heaven, you know, that day. Look, you guys are earth angels. Some people are not even aware of how blessed they are to have you <laughs> in their life. Some people, a lot of people are blessed because of you. Huh? Huh? Your prayers, your loyalty, your ability, your, your willingness to pull over and give that man a water because he was thirsty and it was hot. You know, you, you saved his life. You spared him from dying that day. Okay, you fed someone that was in the rain and hungry. It was pouring rain. You, you stopped your car. You gave him food. You gave that man life. Okay, you're doing what God called you to do. This is why that this is why that abundance is here. Man, look at this. Look at this. This is this reading is giving me chills. You're being rewarded for all the good deeds that you have done. Point blank period. Point blank period. A lot of people are blessed because of you. <clears throat> A lot of people have been spared because of you. A lot of people don't even know that God God could have been took them, but he spared them because of you. And you know, a lot of a lot of people don't even know God could have took you already, but He needs you to be with them. Okay? He needs He needs He needs them to be. He needs you to be with them. Look, trustworthy friends. A lot of you, a lot of you guys as friends have been spared because you you drove the car home that night. Everybody was wasted. You decided not to drink that night. You had a headache or you just wasn't really feeling well. Okay, you decided just to drive it drive the car home or they called you to, to pick them up okay you saved someone's life that night or you were spared okay your life was spared you could have been in a car okay you some of you guys in the collective know of, of your friends that have died in car crashes from from being drunk and you were spared you had a headache you couldn't go out that night you were spared okay you were spared just remember that can i get some more messages for the collective wow healthy choices thank you angels for guiding me to make healthy choices Okay, I'm definitely picking up on the energy of the mind, the body, spirit. Okay, eat your broccoli. I know when we was when we were kids, our mom used to say, eat your broccoli. But now as adults, we love it, okay? Or you should because it's one of the best foods we could ever put in our body. Broccoli is considered to be a super food, okay? Some of you guys need to give your angels thanks because they've helped you make a lot of changes. Yes, a lot of you guys, I'm definitely picking up on... 
People in the collective that own a bunny rabbit, okay, you got a bunny rabbit. Yes, you got a bunny rabbit. And I'm definitely picking up on your mother who has crossed over. Her energy just flooded me, okay? She wants you to know I've been with you. I'm still with you. I'm still with you. Okay, there's going to be special occasions where you're going to dream about her. For instance, the night before your birthday, on your birthday, okay? Now, this doesn't have to be a mother, but I pick up on a mother energy that has crossed over. On special occasions, she will physically show herself. I mean, like in a dream state to you. Or you may get a physical reminder of her in the physical, okay? Special occasions. Wow, there's somebody here. Your name is Campbell. Yeah, you like Campbell's soup? Yeah, you live in um, uh, Gary? Gary, in the, Gary, Indiana. Okay, your angels want you to be brave and honest. Take time to reflect. Some of you guys are being called right now. Make sure what you're asking your angels and God for, make sure that you're, what, it, what you're asking God and your angels for is actually what you want because you're getting it. Okay, reflect on that stuff. Is it really what you want? Because you're, you're manifesting, you're going to get it. Okay, you're going to get it. Can I get more messages for the beautiful collective? I spoke about this. You're never alone. Some of you guys feel alone, but you're not. Your name may be Hunter, okay? Every time I hear the name Hunter, I just think of a very rugged, ruggedly handsome man, okay? Track down your fears, honey. Track them fears down. Don't tell, don't tell, uh, yo, you know, how does it go? Don't tell your problems how big, you know, tell your problems how God big is, okay? No, <laughs> don't tell your problems to God. Tell your problems how big God is, okay? You gotta, you gotta be bold and fearless here. Yes. Some of you guys live in Colorado, Nebraska. I'm definitely here in Tampa. Yeah, this Mercury retrograde has been really rough on my communications. Drop your shield, honey. Some of you guys are so defensive. Somebody is, I know, I can be that, I can be in that energy as well. Okay. Some of you guys are so defensive. Someone steps to you, someone says anything to you, you snap off, you get an attitude. No, part of your test, part of your responsibility is to remain calm. You're going to be tested on that. Your mouth can block your blessings. Your attitude can certainly block your blessings. How you judge God's people can block your blessings. Take care of your, take care of your needs this winter. This is what I'm hearing. Take care of your needs this winter. Some of you guys need to have sex. I'm just going to call it how I hear it. Some of you guys haven't had sex in a long time. Okay, sometimes you have to do what you have to do to release all that picked up sexual frustration and tension that lies within us as human beings. Okay, a lot of our psychological makeup, our emotional well-being is tied into sex, whether we want to admit it or not. It doesn't matter. If you you can if, if if you're neglecting, okay, if you're neglecting your sexual needs, your sexual health, that's actually neglecting part of your mental health. So if you have to do what you have to do, that doesn't mean you have to be promiscuous. But if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Okay. Yes. Trust your instincts. Trust that you're, you're operating in the high priest, high priestess energy. Ignite your passions. I just spoke of it. Some of you guys got a lot of passions that are just being very, very repressed. Some of you guys are Leos. We got the sun energy. You shining too bright, man. You shining too bright. I should say you're shining so bright, okay? That's that's the better way to say it. Some of you guys are shining so bright. And there's a beauty upgrade that is happening for you. People may be complimenting you. Wow, you look different. Yeah, you know, you have that glow, that natural glow. Because you're spiritually upgrading, you're emotionally upgrading, you're psychologically upgrading, and you're being gifted with all these amazing gifts from the universe. Yeah, your your iPad may be broken. Your iPhone may be broken. You may have taken it to get fixed this weekend or you may need to. Okay, can I get some final messages? Final messages. We got the three. Three of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Yes, what are you waiting for? Now is the time. Mm. If anybody can't handle you right now, they're not meant to be with you, okay? Remember that because you're in a powerful-ass, boss-ass energy. You're going to be intimidating and scary and, you know, you're going to seem weird and all kind of crazy to people that are not supposed to be in your life. Let them people, let them people keep going on about their business because they're not part of your tribe. We got Virgo, Virgo energy with the hermit. Yes, there's a lot of solitary energy here. There's a single person. But there's a person that's in a lot of solitary energy that's watching the reading. 
you feel like you don't have anyone, you feel like you're alone, or you just may be in a self-reflecting energy where you need to, okay? You need to get by yourself so you can think, so you can hear your angels. We got the two of coins, okay? This is like your angel saying, okay, how do you want it? Do you want it this way? Do you want to live in Nebraska? Do you want to go to Chicago? Do you want to go to Tennessee? Do you want to move to Florida? Which, what, what do you want? Make up your mind because it's coming in. Okay, some of you guys are being indecisive. Some of you guys need to make up your mind and be sure about what you want before you ask for it because you're going to get it. I'm telling you. Some of you guys are juggling two jobs. You have been. You've been hustling. You've been doing things that, you know, you don't necessarily like, like to do. But you know what? You're taking care of your responsibilities and you're not running from them. That's another reason why you're getting blessed. Okay? Be careful, too, of people coming towards you to sleep with you. Okay, but some of you guys need to have somebody come towards you and sleep with you because you need to get your sexual needs met. Always use safe precautions. Okay, and don't just sleep with random people unless that's something that you're into. But I'm definitely picking up on the energy of someone coming to you for sexual reasons. And I spoke about that. Some of you guys, some of you guys that have been been through a long dry spell, that shit is about to come to an end. Okay, we got Taurus energy with the hair fonts. Look how spiritual you are. Man, this is it. This is like God, bro. He's here. Look at this. He's like, I'm here. This is your angels. This For some of you, this is a twin flame higher self. For some of you, this is a soulmate. Some of you, this is you. People are coming. People will come to you. They will need to come to you for spiritual advice. Some of you guys are tarot readers, spiritualists, herbalists. Okay, some of you guys own weed refineries, I'm hearing. Some of you guys deal with different herbs and remedies okay some people come to you for spiritual counsel spiritual advice or they will be this could also indicate a pastor a priest okay i'm hearing you're a novelist you're a novice okay so you may be young watching the reading you may be naive okay this may be your first youtube channel youtube tarot reading you've ever watched or you you just search again searching for that right video and you're going to stumble across this some of you guys have been naive to who you are for too damn long Okay, some of you guys have had people speak over you in the church. Okay, you can't have everybody speak over you because everybody ain't got their right heart for you. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Some 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 of you guys have had people speak on you. Okay, speak over you. Okay, some of you guys have had your mother, your father, pray for my baby, okay? But their heart wasn't good. This is what I'm hearing. Everybody don't have an honest heart. I don't care if they're a preacher or a pastor or a priest, whatever. Some people have actually blocked you or hindered you by this okay or they will don't have this is the message definitely don't have anybody or everybody speak for you you know how people say pray for me no you don't want everybody to pray for you you don't know what they're saying okay wow 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 i'm definitely hearing your spiritual team is here this is your spiritual team 100 percent some of you guys mothers have been praying for you that's why you heal some of you guys grandmama okay your grandfather Yo, daddy, their prayers are the reason why you're still here. You know what? Some of you guys were in bad because I'm seeing somebody that was in a motorcycle accident or an auto accident. Somebody prayed for you. Okay, that was a blessing for you. You're still here because of that. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing somebody like at an accident, an accident site. Yeah, you got prayed over. Okay. Yes, not all, not all people that pray for you are bad, but I'm just saying you have to be discerning about who you let pray for you. Okay, we got Scorpio energy, the death. Man, there has been a massive death in your life. And you know who died? You, the old you. That's, that, she gone. He gone. They long gone. The sooner you accept that, the sooner this abundance could come in for you. Some of you guys are fighting it. I feel it. You're fighting it. You feel like you're not good enough. You are. Accept it. Receive it. Believe it. Okay. Some of you guys are going through a massive transformation. Some of you guys are Pisces, Scorpios, Virgos, Leos, Capricorns. Who Cancerians? You got every reason to rejoice, baby. Rejoice, be glad. Some of you guys need to go out and have a good time, you know? Some, some of y'all just need to let your hair down, okay? I, I like this lady, okay? Her name is Tunya. She has a Facebook channel. A lot of you guys may know Tunya, Auntie Tunya, Auntie Reba, you know? She always speaks about... Everybody's so stush and uptight. Sometimes you got to loosen up. Loosen up. Okay, guys. This is what some of you guys, some of you guys simply need to just accept the fact that you have a high calling. 
you're not alone. Some of you guys have been crippled by this anxiety of loneliness. Okay, you've been alone. You've been by yourself for so long. It has definitely had a lot of negative side effects to your psyche. Okay, final messages. Final messages. Wow, sacral chakra. <laughs> some of you guys need to get some sex, baby. And it's coming. Some of you guys are going to be having some amazing hot sex with some Leos, okay? With some Aquas. You know, Leo Leo and Aquarius are opposites. And that is a highly, highly sexual compatible match. We got authority, okay? Look, you got the boss's boss on your team. You got friends in high places. Mm-hmm. You got people in high positions watching over you or will be assigned to you or currently are assigned to you. People that can open doors, people that can close doors are assigned to you. Wow, this is deep. Look, we got Archangel Michael. I love him. Anybody that watches my channel know he's my favorite. Okay, he's watching over you. That's the boss of the boss in terms of protection. Ain't nobody messing with you, honey. Let him talk. But Archangel Michael ain't gonna let him touch you. Okay, we got the universe. Beautiful. There's a beautiful woman here. You have green eyes. Okay, you got green eyes. There's a beautiful, okay. Yeah, I, I'm definitely picking up on somebody that is very young that should not be watching tarot. Okay, you may be about 14, 15 years old. I'm picking up on your energy here. Your mom may be a tarot reader. Okay, you may have grew up with a mom that is a gypsy. Uh, I'm hearing the word gypsy. Okay, a gypsy traveler. Yeah, there's something about New Jersey here. Yes. Yeah, you may have grew. Okay, you may have grown. You may be young watching the reading. Now, you don't have to be 14. You may be 18. You may be 20, 21. You're trying to find some clarity and guidance as to why you've always been different, why, why things have always been different for you, or why things have always seemed to be harder for you. You may also be struggling with the fact that your mom is a reader. Your mom or your father is a spiritualist. Okay, they always had you in church. Or they're, 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 okay, I'm definitely picking up on um, that beautiful psychic medium. Her name is Teresa. Okay, her energy is coming in. She's able to connect with the dead, okay? You may, you may be someone that has a parent that's high up in the spiritual world and you're having a hard time finding your own identity or you struggle with it, okay? You struggle with your parents or you, or you did at one point in your life. You struggle with your parents' belief system, Okay. You, you were the only child that had a mother that was a reader, a tarot reader, a crystal ball reader. Your third eye is open, baby. Your third eye is open. Let God take control. Let him stay in control. I love you. God bless.